It's been four years since we've seen the Mudbugs play at Hirsch Coliseum. It's memories that Chuck Klutcher made with his family starting over 10 years ago. And the Bugs made a lasting impression on his youngest boy, George, and his older brothers. It was always, uh, hey, you want to go get, get up against the wall? We're going to shoot on you. And George would go, okay. And so, you know, without even pads or anything, George started playing goalie. And uh, he uh, got to about six or seven, and uh, people started hearing about him. As the story goes, George wasn't just good. He was really good, and teams from all over the region started asking for George to come play on the road. I said, okay. So it was a deal of uh, when George was like seven, he hit the road. George played in Shreveport, Lafayette, and even Dallas. But then something tragically unexpected happened. Uh, we got, got to be pretty good, and uh, uh, then he passed away. And uh, it was pretty, pretty emotional, uh, but there was a whole lot of people that came up and told me stories about him. And uh, you don't, you think you know your kid, sometimes you don't. But I got to find out how good he was. Hundreds showed to 12-year-old George's funeral, most wearing their favorite hockey jersey to honor his love for the game. Chuck says this ring that's meant so much is a constant reminder of the good times, no matter how painful it is. One of the things is that, you know, as, uh, as, as a parent is, uh, I got on the house, say it's is, uh, you know, walking through that door right there and looking down at the goal and him turning around and looking at me. But it's a, uh, I can tell you this is going to be fun. Something truly amazing happened after the interview with Chuck. I asked if he would teach me a thing or two on the ice, and a smile creeped onto his face. Though he wasn't playing with his son, the joy that hockey brought to George filled the whole stadium for those few minutes. So as you're enjoying time with your family on the ice this weekend, remember number 34. That was George's number, and this is George's pond. In Shreveport, Clay Osterley, KSLA News 12.